Airplanes need to be cleaned regularly to ensure that dirt and ice on the fuselage don't affect their aerodynamics. To address this, MSG Productions has developed a fully autonomous and programmable washing system capable of cleaning any aircraft from dirt or removing ice even in sub-zero temperatures. The core component of the system is water cannons mounted on a special structure that mimics the shape of an airplane. They are controlled by software and depending on the selected mode can clean the aircraft from ice or dirt. The pinpoint operation of these water cannons not only reduces water consumption, but also enhances the efficiency of cleaning the aircraft's body compared to other similar devices. Salto was developed back in 2016, but at that time it could only make one jump because it couldn't maintain its balance after that. Today's model can perform hops in place and can do many other tricks, like clearing obstacles or following a moving target. You control the robot using a remote controller and a 10-minute charge gives it enough power to do 100 jumps. The machine can jump up to 47 inches high and despite its small size, moves at a pretty impressive speed, ranging from 7 to 10 miles per hour. Salto robots will be very useful for search and rescue missions during natural disasters. Thanks to their compact size, they can easily navigate through rubble. These machines can also be used by the U.S. Army as reconnaissance robots. Engineers from Korea have developed a prototype of a human-like leg called Hyperleg, which can move its heel and rotate its foot. The device completely mimics the appearance, anatomy, and capabilities of the lower human limb. The robo-leg consists of a thigh, shin, and a movable foot. The main distinguishing feature of Hyperleg is the design of the ankle joint, which has two degrees of motion. This allows the foot to be rotated sideways by 30 degrees in both directions, as well as raise and lower the toe of the foot towards the shin. When in motion, the leg can support itself on both the front and back parts of the foot, similar to how humans walk. In theory, such a design will allow machines to move more efficiently across various types of surfaces and overcome obstacles, compared to current counterparts. Meadowmotion is the first AI-powered robot designed for tomato harvesting. Not only is it capable of picking tomatoes, it can also understand the structure of plants, the environment, and independently assess the ripeness of the fruits. The robot features two manipulators for harvesting tomatoes from both sides of the row in high-tech greenhouses. This autonomous vehicle is equipped with 3D AI-based vision technology that creates a map of the plants and crop. The advanced vision system identifies ripe tomatoes for harvesting and directs the manipulator to the right spot. It cuts and collects the tomato branches, then places the fruits on a conveyor belt that dumps them into onboard containers. All these actions take just 16 seconds. Once the unmanned robot reaches the end of the row, it stops, detaches its trailer, and sends it to the storage. The Q-Loader Automatic Loading System from the Polish company WDX is an innovative solution for the logistics industry. It allows for three times faster loading and unloading of goods into semi-trailers or containers. During testing, it was proven that the loading time for a standard semi-trailer reduced from 45 to 15 minutes. Notably, using such a device doesn't require special adaptation of terminals and semi-trailers. The system is equipped with a special platform that resembles a forklift. While a forklift can only transport one pallet at a time, the platform of the device can accommodate an entire batch of goods at once. After forming a batch of cargo, it is moved into the semi-trailer along with the platform. Then, the forks of the platform are released, and it returns to its original position. 
Unloading of semi-trailers is done in reverse order. After unloading, the system sorts the pallets and directs them to the storage area via a special roller conveyor. In the near future, the Q-loader is planned to be tested at the Rabin Logistics Center in Strakov. Vertigo is a four-wheeled robot that can drive on walls. To achieve this, engineers at Disney Research equip the device with two tilting propellers mounted on top of the robot. By changing the tilt angle, the rear propeller pushes the robot towards the wall, while the front one pulls it upward. This allows Vertigo to transition from a horizontal surface to a vertical one. According to the developers, this design gives the robot freedom of movement and flexibility in choosing its path both indoors and in urban environments. The robot is remotely controlled, but the tilt angle of the propellers is automatically adjusted based on the surrounding conditions. Thanks to the use of advanced lightweight materials in construction, the robot weighs only 4.4 pounds and is 23.6 inches long. Israeli company Urban Aeronautics plans to soon start serial production on the Cormorant VTOL vertical takeoff and landing drone. Notably, this drone will operate on hydrogen fuel rather than electricity. The unmanned aircraft can reach speeds of up to 111 miles per hour and stay in the air for an incredible five hours. The drone was developed specifically for military purposes as delivering ammunition to remote and hard-to-reach areas currently consumes a lot of time and resources. It will also be used for evacuating wounded soldiers from the battlefield. It will allow medics to quickly reach the injured, and there's enough space inside to load a soldier and provide initial medical aid. Vertical takeoff and landing are achieved through two fans located parallel to the ground within the drone's body. Horizontal movement is controlled by two vertical thrusting screws at the tail. Japanese startup NARC has developed the concept of a floating city called Dogen City, which will be available to provide its residents with electricity, food, and water. The estimated population will range from 10,000 to 40,000 people. Thanks to its unique design, the city will be capable of withstanding various natural disasters like tsunamis, which are often observed near the coast of Japan. Dogen City will consist of three separate zones, a residential ring, an underwater data processing center, and internal structures floating freely inside the ring. The city will host educational, medical, municipal institutions, and even its own spaceport. Residents will be able to receive daily telemedicine consultations and monitor their health using various devices and sensors. They will also have continuous access to high-tech blood analysis for disease prevention and remote robotic surgery. Additionally, the city will have specialized laboratories for pharmacology research. NR claims that the floating city will be operational by 2030. Startup Houston Mechatronics has launched the first of three second-generation underwater robots called Aquanaut MK2. This AI-based device is designed for collecting data and servicing equipment located in the ocean. It can operate autonomously at depths of up to 984 feet and is intended primarily for deep-sea work on offshore oil and gas platforms. This industry relies heavily on underwater equipment that requires regular inspection and maintenance. To perform routine wellhead maintenance, certain valves need to be turned. Until now, remotely operated vehicles ROVs, were used to tackle these tasks, but they required an operator and a long cable. Aquanaut MK2 is entirely autonomous. It can autonomously navigate to the location, inspect the object, and complete the assigned task using its two manipulators. The robot can be transported to the site on a small boat or dropped from a helicopter.
The Artificial Intelligence System SWIFT, developed by researchers from the University of Zurich and Intel, defeated three world champions in drone racing. This event is being called a new milestone in the development of AI. The competition took place on a specially designed track near Zurich. Additionally, the AI demonstrated the fastest lap time, beating the best human racer by half a second. The competition was on an even playing field because Swift used real data from an onboard camera similar to what human racers use. According to the developers, Swift's capabilities could be utilized in forest monitoring, space exploration, and the film industry. Moreover, this technology could be valuable in search and rescue operations, where drones need to cover large distances quickly.